It is time for another scroller box and I'm super excited! Oh my god! Oh god. Okay, I tried a new opening and I don't think it worked, but I'm just excited to see what's in there. And the first thing I see is this really cool it's a sketchbook. I wonder if I love this. This is really cool. Okay. So I haven't drawn properly for a little while, so I just decided to start the first thing back from holidays and doing a lot of Kickstarter stuff to just open the scroll box and get into the swing of things again. And that was what I was going to say, but then I just totally forgot about it because I opened it and was like, this sketchbook is really cool. Okay, let's just, let's just keep Ooh, I like it. I don't know what to do with all of these. Any suggestions? Too many stickers now. So we are getting a drawing pen. Ooh. We got a 4H pencil, we got a candy, and we got chameleon fine liners. I know I got chameleon pens, the, the color changing one, oh this is a color changing one, that's fine. But I got it with another set, scroll book set, a while back. And the art of the month is Jonathan Knight. I've never actually done art just with color liners, so this is going to be interesting. And I guess we're all doing it in the sketchbook as well. Does this count as Inktober? Would this be ink? This is for August. I always get them at the end of the month, so I guess I'm a month behind every time I do this. Uh, not really a month behind, but it's fine. Uh, chameleon color blending fine liners. To blend colors, you have to do switch the cap to another pen. Hold vertically for a better transfer. Leave it for a few seconds to make a vibrant color to color blends. Fill with water-based washable ink. Don't bleed through most papers. The scroller challenge is Rainbow Renaissance, which is... Which makes sense when I see this, but still. Okay. I'm so out of practice. Can you hear that I'm out of practice when it comes to this? I'm just gonna... Play. Also, I'm so sorry for my bruises and my plasters. I went back to pole fitness and uh, this is the aftermath. I have a lot of scabs everywhere. <laughs> Let's do some uh, color swatching. I guess the first page of this book is going to be swatches, which is fair enough. Yeah, nice fine line. I probably will use this for signatures and stuff because I needed one. Gray. Oh, they're thin. That's grey. Huh, interesting. And they said you could just switch around the caps. So let's try making the yellow go to the green. That would be cool. No, wait, let's just do the green go to yellow. Maybe that's better. I'm guessing you have to do that. A few seconds. I guess it's been a few seconds. So now it should be yellow. Ooh, it is. And then it should go. I hope. Ooh, okay, that is kind of cool. It's pretty cool, though. I must say. So I guess there's ink in this this part of the pan and also in this part. But when it does, it's pretty cool. And I think it's back to normal. No, it's not back to normal, it's pretty purple. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it for a few less seconds. One, two, three, four. So not it doesn't do it for that long. Okay, that is cool. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit cool. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So I actually don't know what to do with them though. Like, what am I? Oh, I did that again. Um, what am I gonna draw? Renaissance? What did it say? Rainbow Renaissance. Um, mm, 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 okay. Maybe we can do some studies, that would be cool, like, directly in rainbow pens. 
so that I just I, I'm not allowed to sketch I just have to sort of you know how Kim Young Yi Kim Young Yi Kim Young Ji <laughs> I don't know how to say his name um how he um draws just without any sketches underneath I want to do that but with studies possibly do something like that but it would pen so it will be very different Oh, I like that. I don't know why. Let's do that. I guess it would be cool to do a yellow to the orange for the face. How do I do this? Okay, I do well, maybe yellow to orange. That would be cooler. Like that. This is why it's so good with getting a scroller box every month. It's just I have to kind of go out of my comfort zone. I never do this. I never do studies. I never use pens, really. Okay, good thing with starting with yellow is that I can go back later. It's not even turning to orange yet, it's just yellow. I need to work on her eyes, I think. I like studies. I, I, I sort of wanted to do more studies a while back, and then it's just something that you need to sit down and do. So it's not like... I can... Is it, I have other things to do, you know? Maybe we should do a new uh, series on my channel where we actually sit down and study different artists or different styles. I wouldn't mind that at all, like a draw with me style. It, it will always, it's, there's always draw with me style videos, but you know, seeing if we can just study a few different artists and how they do stuff. I want to do one of the flower pictures as well, but I'm, <laughs> I'm doing girls again. Somebody mentioned that I should do a boy design. I'm like, yeah, I should. No, I just haven't done that. Because I forgot. I guess we can do the, the um, her shirt, but I think I'm gonna do it with yellow because it's such a nice sketching color. <laughs> this feels weird in a way. It's because it's so different from what I usually do. I need to get her face right. Okay, blue. I think I want blue to the green. Oh, well, maybe green to the blue. Yes. I'm just trying to play around with this, like the whole, I guess, gimmick. I would call it a gimmick, the fact that you can do the color changing thing. Uh, it feels like a gimmick. <laughs> what am I gonna use for the hair? Oh, the black, the black, we have black. I'm sorry. I want her pants, they're really cool. <laughs> Um, I I wanted like green for her shirt, so I'm just gonna use the green, just the edges. Okay, let's do the hair. Um, and I am going to use the black. I don't think there's a way to fade out the black, but we could start with blue actually because it's uh, quite close to black in value. I'm doing blue where I see the highlights in the hair because I know when I add the black, even though this looks like the dark value right now, the black's gonna make the blue seem like the light value. At least that's what I'm thinking, and also all the flyaways is easier to do in blue. Oh, let's do her eyebrows in blue.
The card is not going to fill out this whole thing. That would be crazy. Maybe it's just a study. I don't know why I'm studying this, but... I probably learned something either way. How to do <laughs> how to do drawings in pen. How to translate drawings that are in oil color to pen. That's that's what I'm learning here. Yeah. Yellow to red to pink. And then the the mix between the red and the pink will make like a really nice blushy color that I need. I know it's her face is actually too big compared to um, the rest of her, but somehow it works in my style. So <laughs> my style is just a way of excuses, isn't it? But it does really um, it does help. Okay, we're done with the first study! Woo. I think it turned out alright. It was kind of fun. What are we gonna do next? I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna put the caps back on these. I know, I think it said that it, they didn't dry out, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. I think we're gonna do this one. Just because it's so pretty, I don't quite know. Yeah, it's not old, but it's pretty, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, it didn't bleed through the paper. We're great! Let's do this way, and let's start with the grey, because we just kind of forgot that we had grey. And just start out by... One day, people, I promise you, we'll do a character design. It's a male character. <laughs> but... Right now, this is what we're doing. I actually want to try a proper oil painting and see if we can make that into a video. I'm just trying to understand the movements of the piece. Faces from above is probably my, my biggest weakness. It's so hard to get right. Okay, we need to start adding in some color because if we don't, that would be weird. I think we're gonna do green to blue on her dress. Just trying to put the grey in the right place and then the blue in the right place. This is a lot harder <laughs> than the previous one. I think I just made it harder for myself to be honest. I wonder what will happen when I add the black background because that's kind of what I'm planning. <laughs> Hope that pulls it together again. Oh, it's hard to do... Oh, the thing with the, the reference is that the, the wings are so nice and fluffy and soft and doing that with pen it's not as easy as you would, would think. <laughs> if you ever think that doing it with pen would be easy. The lightest part of the wing is here. So I'm trying to mute down any, any other part. So I'm going to use a lot of the pink. And yellow, pink and grey. I'm gonna try pink and grey. I wanted to keep it mostly blue and blue and green instead of all the yellow. So that's what I'm gonna try and attempt. Honestly, I think we need need the 
the yellow in here. Let's do this right now. This is really hard with pen, I should have done it differently. <laughs> I think I was gonna do it differently. I don't know why I'm trying to render it up so much. Didn't I say I wanted to do like a Kim Jong Yi style? And that's more uh, it's just flat lines. Maybe we'll do one more where I try to just do that and not try and like render it up. <laughs> because it's just different things. This, this just is different. Oh, I think I ruined it. <laughs> it was better before. Oh well. I think I need to add more to that. Let's just get the yellow. This is hurting my hand. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done with this one. Ah, let's do one more. That one's pretty too. Let's do this one. Okay, I want to do a pink, well, pink to yellow to get the, the shapes right. Should we do that one again? What if I try and draw her mostly with the pink to, no, yellow to pink, and then him more in the uh, the other colors? Because she has like mostly pink, pink on her, so that would make sense. God, I'm focusing so much, I'm not even talking. A lot of waiting in between these, uh, these colors to blend. That was hard. <laughs> I didn't talk much during that because his face was is hard to draw. I wanna. Um, I said I was gonna keep this mostly lines, but honestly, I can't. Because so much is dependent on values and where, it's, like color against color. So I just wanna. I wanna have her hair at least. Well, I'm gonna concentrate more on movement anyway. 
Like, where does the hair go? More than the values, maybe. Let's um, add the green. Let's say she has a flower thing in her hair. Well, it's turning out pretty alright. I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I think we need to somehow add more oh, to add more blush to our cheeks, but which is hard because everything's so harsh. So I'm gonna try and add grey to the pink and see if that helps me at all. Oop, that's not the right colour, is it? Why is it blue? I'm very happy that I've spent a lot of my professional concept art life learning how to draw armour. <laughs> not that I'm going to be any good at it right now, but... I know what the different things are, it doesn't look like a complete mess to me. What was I gonna do? Oh, grey. Why is it blue though? Is it because I used so much blue with the grey? Hmm. This is the downside to... yeah, he's this blue in the grey now. That's the downside to these colour changing pens is that you... You always kind of taint the other colours, so you will be stuck at some point with just one colour variation. It's not exactly the easy theme, is it? A renaissance rainbow. I thought I was doing yellow, so I guess I've tainted the yellow too. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it's fun focusing on the movement, because there's lots of movement. Yeah, I like it. The main focus on is on her, which is what I like. Didn't mean for it that to be blue, but I forgot that. That's all. Grey is now blue. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. It was really hard, but really fun and interesting. So I think it was fun in the end. Um, and I hope maybe that you guys would like to see me do more studies because it's different from doing creative stuff. And I think a lot of people like sketchbook studies and all that cool stuff. So we can do that in watercolor. I'm better in watercolor than I am pen. So that'll be more fun, I think. But yeah, let's uh, look through what we got. We got this lady with the oranges. I quite like this one still. I think this is one of the, the probably the, one of the good ones. This one, which is kind of crazy, not my favorite. And then uh, this one, which I which I really like. I like this. I got the flow right here, which I really really like. So uh, that is the end. But uh, let me just zoom out. I always try and lay it out a little bit nicely for the end of these scroll box videos because. It, it, it looks nice, you know? Uh, yeah, I, I, I like this one. I'm happy with this one. I'm happy with the first one. 
So uh, everything is good. Um, last thing I want to say is that uh, the Kickstarter is still alive if you still want to support the Snowcat Prince. Your card won't be charged until the end of the month anyway, so if you just want to go back it, that's so completely cool. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for to everyone who's backed already, because we're over 700 I think now, people who's backed it, and uh, we're over like 32k, which is sort of crazy and I'm really looking forward to, to packing everything up and printing everything and it's gonna be just a really cool journey printing the Snowcat prints. So thank you guys so much for supporting me and I will hopefully see more of you as well and I don't know, it goes up and down, campaigns go up and down but it's been a an amazing like three days so far and you guys are all incredible. Thank you so much for all the support, it just gives me more fuel to do more um, kickstarters and more projects like that. and. Uh, I think it's gonna be really cool. Anyway, I'm gonna have to stop talking now and get some food because I don't know what I'm saying. And I'm sorry for if this was a really weird video, but I kinda like it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye bye!